So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Your Persona 4. We're of course playing with Amber Fantasy Mode as Emma Home. And we are being a little bit low on the manpower, but we have other things going for us, which is quite nice. At the moment, we are trying to prevent any major losses. I've also just realized that uh, Kastanav has a lot of uh, stuff going on, so they are quite chunky. They could become... Quite happy, which allows us to reduce stuff again. So we're gonna do that instead of uh, seizing ground lands. I feel like we're gonna get a ground land in with deathing anyway. So there's that. We're also doing a decent bit of work to get rid of all of you guys here. Yeah, the conversion is happening left and right. I'm trying my hardest to solve these problems. But it's, I'm quite happy that uh, you guys immediately ally them again. <laughs> then you're also get, gonna, gonna get beaten up. I'm sorry. That's 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 them rules. Claim. Conquest. Excuse me? Why is the punitive war already over? Alright, then we're gonna go with this plan again. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, 700. I guess we're gonna wait a little bit. Come on, cook dear. Do you not see the value of our friendship? Oh, we can also start a golden arrow now. Lovely. That's uh, something that we're definitely going to take. Because we need a lot. This money is also going to disappear, right? Yep. Because now we have silk and lower cost enough. Fantastic. Everybody else is also doing golden arrows. <laughs> they have decided. Sure. And we just need to take this province away from them. So, I mean, we do want to attack them directly anyway, because they have a lot of stuff that we need. So. Claims. I guess we need another army. Uh, I guess we're actually gonna take you in here to make this quicker. Alright. Yep, you guys join. I'm not sure if I can force conversion on you, but I hope I can. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we can siege. We most certainly know how to siege. Alright, when we have too much admin, we can actually uh, reduce inflation. Yep, yep. That's also something that I shouldn't forget. So, Corinta, can I force religion on you? Yeah, I can. Stop this Coronite nonsense. It says remove this, right? Yep, center of, center of reformation is gone. <coughs> I'm quite happy. I'm actually quite happy about that. I mean, I could try the same thing here. But that would require uh, several wars, actually. So we're not doing that. Military reform. Now, of course, this is quite useful. I'm taking the <laughs> I'm taking the naval bonus. <laughs> I want. I, I I mean, usually I don't really look at the bonuses that pop up with that. I usually just go, ah, I'm gonna get 200 Diplo points. Thanks. <laughs> because as it, as it's always the case, Diplo deafing is best deafing. Now, prestige, prestige, we are fully. Don't want anything from you. And Rosanda technically, I also don't want anything from. I'll just take this as a quick financial gain. So. Thank you. Oh, 
Right. Stop with this nonsense. And now you guys. Two years. Basically one year. Oh, and we also have enough money for the Kastanov survey. Lovely. Though Kastanov is an enormous city, our renowned bookkeeping has allowed us to maintain the city though our many through our many architects and masons. However, with the Green Tide and the Orcs ravaging the city to a point where it has become a shadow of its former self, we must do something. A great survey of the city sh shall begin de detailing every inch of this new but decrepit Kastanov so that we may effectively restore it to its former glory once more. Click. Pass the map, yells a dwarf. You're missing some uh, starting points there, but whatever. Hundreds of dwarfs gather around the silver docks and the, on the edge of Kastanov, preparing supplies from compasses to old maps of Kastanov and, of course, ale. Dwarfs, men and halflings, prepare yourselves. Kastanov, though once a great city, has changed after the green tide. Many of you dwarfs who formerly lived in Kastanov may not recognize your ancient home, nor standing ruined before you. But if we fully survey and map this new Kastanov, we may finally be, be able to restore the city to its, uh, to its ancient glory. The crowd, after a round of cheering, soon departs into the stone city with whatever fate awaits for them there. Okay. We're getting, once again, another event chain. Do we want to drill? I don't think actually we want to drill. For the simple enough reasons of, uh... I mean, I guess we have money. With the surveyors entering the outer edges of the city, they soon begin meticulously charting the city, er, city's every street, corner and building. The outer rim of the city, though being the largest part of it, is also the most desolate. Apart from a few traders and settlers, much of the area remains completely empty. Though this has made the area substantially easier to map out, with the process only taking about a week instead of the month or so it was expected to, to be planned. To be... to buy... to... Or so it was expected to buy the planners. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not a native English speaker, I'm allowed to do these things. <coughs> with the surveyors entering the deep areas within the city, an unnerving feeling comes across the surveyors. Okay, that's a garbage sentence. <laughs> it comes across them. Much of the inner city is dominated by traditions, thieves or other no goodness. Many after entering the city have begun sighting losses of equipment, scuffles with small bands of goblins and occasionally even bands of orcs. Though this has considerably slowed down progress, the interior is a little smaller than the exterior of the city, allowing the surveyors to continue on in pace. Okay, in a few days we get some orcs. Okay, we're throwing out orcs, and then we get orcs. It's a full moon in Kastanov. Many of the surveyors found shelter in an empty building, which seemed like some sort of former smithy. The dwarves decide to camp there for the night, due to its safety being partly underground. But it seems this has not helped them. Rumors have gone around the city from either patricians or various orc bands that surveyors accounted about their whereabouts, and yet in the dead of night a horn and marching boots could be here, could be heard. A band of orcs ambushed the surveyors in the night. A large amount of surveyors were slaughtered in the ambush and only the night watch, consisting of a few dwarves and the captain of the team, survived. Alright. North cuts enough. Boop. <coughs> Kill them all. 11,000 men. The Stone Manor. With the escape of the dwarves after the orc attack, they ran as the natural sprinters. <laughs> I have understood this reference. Eventually outran the orcs and hid in, large, in a large stone manor found in the city. But the dwarves, while setting up barricades in the manor, found something amazing. The symbol of Bulgar. The dwarves intrigued begin scurrying the whole manor, eventually finding a small room full of blueprints and plans. This was obviously Bulgar's manor. Lucky. The plans in the room detailed various projects which... Balgas wished to complete, but that he seemingly had scrapped. The dwarves, amazed by this discovery, soon backed all of the blueprints into the bags and set off back to the silver docks. Okay, that was it once again? Just prestige? Okay. <coughs> Lovely. Okay, this is basically this. And we obviously need to uh, conquer the rest of the stuff here. And then we need a thousand to start with the Dwarven Irrigation. I'm not... Uh, wait. So basically we change stuff to grain here unless it has cloth, uh, glass or paper. Okay. Interesting. Oh. 
The ruler of Rotaria has died, without leaving a direct heir. They will join in a union with Abaddon unless we contest it. If we contest it, we will create a succession war. It will create succession war over Rotaria. Does this mean that I can take it then? The succession? Because I would love personal union over here. <laughs> I I have to say I have no clue about the uh, succession stuff uh, about the personal union stuff. I barely do anything like that. But sure, fuck you. <laughs> it's Asgarn. It stays in Asgarn. Can I call an ally? So am I just really literally alone? Okay, there we go. Come, blood, join me. I guess Garvard is not quite uh, there yet. Um, Okay. No, they actually like them. Alright, then that's a different story. God damn it. <laughs> the guy just fucking leaves. Okay, just go here and take some provinces. <laughs> just immediately runs away. Cool. Uh, no, no. Yes. Workshop in Southcast enough. I mean, I could immediately do that. Because it's dirt cheap with our bonuses. Okay, we still have a really good general. Let's see if we can catch him off guard. Because it seems like you guys have a lot of numbers going for you. That's a march, that's also a march. This is grassland. Do we potentially cause trouble here? You're on 8? I'm on 8 as well. I mean, to be honest, there are several reasons why we do this anyway. We do gain a lot out of doing this. Well, not, not really like... I mean, I don't think we can take that, right? I can just... Uh... Oh, no! You... Oh, good. Good. That does... Wait, let me just really check something I get as well. That pisses off a lot of people. But fuck me, that is too good of an opportunity to just pass up. <laughs> <coughs> so, what do we need to occupy? Aldine. Your capital. No, your capital. Alright. Uh, I also quickly want to actually jump these guys while they are alone. Just to make sure that this is happening quite well. Uh, let's quickly protect you here. I mean, I have not done anything diplomatically. And the game just allows me this kind of opportunity. Which is, most certainly said, quite ridiculous. But we take what we can. We have beaten them up decently. Uh, I probably should support uh, you. Okay, you're leaving. Alright, my colonist is gone. He has done... He, do, he has created a bit of development, after all. So I'm quite happy about that. Okay, this is grassland. There we go. Capital. Let's quickly occupy the rest of you. You are gonna march forward. You guys are sitting in a forest. Oh, we, can we cannot walk here. But you're leaving, that's good. Lovely. We're gonna quickly kick Talgir here. Uh, we do need to take you in. So... Yeah, okay, with a forest, double penalty. That's a crushing. Oh god, I, I, I feel like this is once again. This is not the kind of uh, E4 that I remember. <laughs> where's, the, where's the events that kick me in the teeth the, when I needed the most and stuff like that? That's the kind of E4 I know. Oh, you're already. Okay. I guess we're gonna take a bad fight then. Oh no, they're actually not reinforcing that. Good. Let's get into un uh, to Abaddon's meat. Okay, yeah. I, s I just said that, didn't I? Okay, we can also fight Nusastir next, right? Yep. I want to get this war done as quickly as possible. Because we don't have the manpower currently to support a larger a, far a fight like that. 
We of course can do a few things, but we cannot sustain it. Uh, admin. Yeah, we know what we do with admin. Let's get rid of all of this. Oh, look at these reductions. Okay, yeah. Let's get rid of that inflation altogether. Okay. Uh, you are gonna be my fighting dude. You guys are gonna quickly go over here and here. Good. Jump them. We had 46. This army is gonna siege over here. And you're gonna chase down some more Abaddon. We have some rebels popping up. You currently are not helping. Okay. Military. Do we already put in the position where we just def up like crazy? Or do we actually go for professionalism? I feel like at the current moment I am a little bit more willing to go for some crazy generals. More than anything else. You are actually a really good siege general, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, I might have should have. Should have probably sent you the in there first, but hey. You can't have everything. Okay, you're already sad. Coven blood is getting beaten up. Can't do much about that. I want your capital. I should go for sieges anyway. We're doing very well on sieges. Oh, you can also take a general. I have enough of those. There we go. Abaddon falls. What else is part of this war? Grafam. Vertesk. This is gonna take forever, right? Oh. Wait here. Do we support that? We get ticking war score, right? Good. We need to get them sad. Oshadia is already sad, but not sad enough yet. Let's see if a few fights change the mood overall. Actually, there's also a place to siege. Uh, you're not attacking that. That is silly. Let them get over here. Still not. Right. I mean, an opportunity like this is just ridiculous. Either way, I think I don't need to siege down anything else. I need to siege down uh, Abaddon's stuff. So that they become sad. The good thing is, also my stuff is all protected by my defensiveness. Isn't that cool? Okay. Oh, this is another fort of yours. Okay, this is 60%. Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, AI. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> they don't need to really uh, think. They they just uh, do this very automatically. Okay, let's just crush some stuff on the way. Okay, you've jumped up here again. We are running out of manpower, but... I think you're also running out of willingness to continue this. There we go. How have I just lost war score from this? Oh, the, f the capital has fallen. Okay. I see. Coven blood. Come on, become sad. How crazy is that? You're not being sad yet. I mean, piece them out or just get rid of you. Oh, is that farmland? I'm actually not sure. I'm still running into it like a madman. We're just doing a very inefficient war here, but I'm not having it. 71, come on, you gotta be sad at some point. Okay, so I think, I think at this point we're just stabbing. Of course, this is all very cheap. But the, uh, maybe if we get money out of it. I mean, cast enough it's in itself is going to be fairly large, right? You're going to desiege this. 
Oh, there we go. Sad. Good. We take the union. Still, yeah, people are upset, but we have Druzov with those, so it's not gonna be too bad. I'm gonna take all of this money. Okay. Oh, we also t I just realized we were two attacks behind. <laughs> hey, how, how did we fight these guys? Like, I mean, if I would have been aware of that, I would have done something differently, but okay. <laughs> uh, diplomatic ideas. Nah, this is a siege ability game. I want to siege. Alright, Dwarven Artificer skilled. In 1846, various prominent Dwarven Artificers such as Kelkin and Kass Dordan founded the Dwarven Artificer Guild in Hammerholm as a response to the immense pressure and influence from Gnomish Artificer circles to think and invent their way. This is 18... okay, this feels a little bit odd. <laughs> Either way, Remnant Harkibusius. Uh Regarding construction upkeep of firearms were largely lost. Okay, this is just uh, Harkibusius. A fi an ancient dwarven firearm, or we get a pepper and tortoise. I think we're starting with the fire. We do get fire damage bonus. Of course, at the moment it's not very impressive, but I'm going for it. Oh, they're better. Wait, we get better charge. Uh, we get better charges. The ram steel uh, charges. Okay, and then of course better cannons. Yeah, we we have been uh, slack lacking behind a little bit. Eclipsed all of you. Nice, finally. We now need to improve opinion, right? Up to 150. That's another improved relation with you. Now, what is next on the agenda? Oh, we have a finished mission. Lovely. All of you just start to drill. Oh no, you're not starting to drill. Friends below ground. Yes, there we go. <coughs> When the green tide came, the largest of orcish hordes burst from the hold of Gugdia, one of the last remnants holds of Dvardavar. Though we do resent the mountain dwarves for allowing this to happen, we must come to our senses. Dvardavar houses hundreds of thousands, if not millions of orcs and goblins, and it was only Gugdia holding them back. We must ally with the Agatha dwarves to ensure not a calamity on the level of the green tide does not happen again. We make sure of that. We need 200 uh, Diplo, and we actually need to help you gain... Uh, This stuff. Hmm. That's... That's difficult. That's really difficult because it's completely reliant on the AI. I actually need to f conquer my way up and then just start a war and then give them this stuff. <laughs> right? I don't see any other real way to do this. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what's next on the agenda? What do we have here? This is just once again conquest against uh, you. This is a thousand. Okay, we need a thousand to uh, get south cast enough. Cool. To so have another cost reduction because apparently we need that. This is just more conquest. Oh, there we go. The Iron Dwarfs. Yes. We are gonna get a birth of a new people. We and we of course do embrace the iron. The uh, the the shift. It's not happening too extensively, but it's happening in time. We do have some more work to do. You were... Okay, four more years. 26. We can start converting this. It's gonna cost me a lot, but I feel like I want to do it. Alright, we also probably should improve our relation with you, though, shouldn't we? Abandon personal union. No, we're not doing that. I'm not sure how this happened. We are dwarves. This is a weird game. But I'm embracing it. The levy! I'm, a, I'm not gonna care. Uh, let's do some more revoking. Or seizing land. You could advise a cost reduction on higher levels. Okay. We're just gonna- I think I'm just gonna go first of all get all of these workshops rolling. Because workshops. Oh right, uh, Nusastir. 
I mean, we have the aggressive expansion at the moment. Oh, right. Uh, you know what we could do here? Where's the coalition map mode? There we go. So, these guys would join a coalition. I mean, we have Garvard on our side. Talking about that, we have Garvard on our side. Of course. Why not just take manpower from them? Should have enough of it. Yeah, that's 2,600 dudes. That's gonna fill in my holes. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with phrasing today. <laughs> Look at the sheer speed. Uh, we are gonna get that idea cost reduction, right? Yeah, I think we're doing that. The, the stab hit at war is just a bit too heavy. I don't want that. We can do some stuff where we just siphon your income, or is that- no, that's not possible. You can grant them a province, good for them. Alright. You guys are all still recovering. Our money is rightfully going up. We nearly have everything there. We have some salads. Yeah, if I, if I conquer this, I'm causing just trouble for myself. 60, 60, 60. I mean, they're go probably not gonna even feel it that much. I could accept Castellarian culture as well. Because that, those are not gonna change. That cost me 186. Hmm. Uh, no. Fuck off, Hell folks. Oh no, there's a center of trade, a center here, okay, Sedevik. Hypothetically. <laughs> no, I, th I don't think we really have the opportunity there. You could ally someone. That would be fantastic if you would ally someone. That would help me out immensely. Oh no, manpower is back, lovely. We just have region code salads. Oh right, the 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 Gukdi dwarves are also region called. I completely forgot about that part. I like how we are surrounding this place so <laughs> menacingly. Okay, so we have done all of that. I think here are a few more of these. Yep. We are doing all right with the governing capacity, I assume. Completely all right. Just a bit more. I mean, this is th this is technically uh, still a center of uh, uh, has still has religious seal, so we can't do anything against it anyway. So we just have to accept these things. Do we only have? Yeah, we only have orcs that need to be converted. So we are gonna wait that one out. We have these salads, which we can quickly just tell to not be salads. Two hundred. Hunters folly. Here. Man, this is this is this is a game. It's definitely one of the games ever made. Okay. Let's just get rid of you guys. I need manpower. I don't have time for you or nonsense. Okay, just one more. We can take stuff ahead of time. Everything is coming up. Uh, we can stop this improved relation. Don't need that. I assume that Garvid is gonna be dirt poor. Oh, look at these separatists. Yeah, I, I think Comba is struggling. So, the surface highway. Beneath the Serpent Spell Mountains lays the ancient world of her and its highway, an automated series of rails and transports that connected the, war the vast woven empire of Yore. But what if we repli replicate such a feat but on surface? Speedy Dwarves! Everybody loves Speedy Dwarves. Uh, sure. Let's get up to free stability. Could you not? Would be cool if you could not do that. Uh, 
so. Uh, what do we have here? Giant's wood? No, this is... I guess we could do that. Gluton. That is that one that we definitely don't want. Oh, Marketplace. Yeah, sure. And lower cost enough. That makes a lot of sense. I agree. Should probably do that. Okay, we're also getting rid of a lot of problems there. We still have the threat uh, or the power projection going on. This one gives us claims on that, right? Yeah, seize the walls. We just need this last province there. You are allowed to Nurses there, so yeah. We are gonna do it that way. Marhold, Estil, and Count's League. Could eat up a lot of problems with that. Brufalation guy would also be the worst. Admin again! I guess we are go just gonna be a little bit tax focused here. Sure. I'm making the I'm making the custom positions a little bit too happy oh, when we can actually t turn off this one. So, of course, it doesn't completely remove the influence, but it removes it well enough and keeps them happy. So I know that there's a chance of this just happening, but I don't trust the chance. So we're gonna have to do it that way. Do, do these guys outside care? I could just do this. We have so much admin currently, and I have so much space available. And money, I mean, I guess manpower, right? That was a thing. Oh, manpower, am I right? How do you keep getting your peasant? Like, you I just see you constantly having peasant wars. <laughs> uh, that is still admin and military. I could actually turn on. Do I do that? Do I go for the full on? Uh, you know what? Screw it. You know, you guys know me. You know my desires. We're definitely gonna go economic ideas next. This is probably one of the most uh, 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 like where I take what the usual ideas that I uh, that I take kind of game. I mean, usually I take innovativeness first, just for the benefit. Well, oh well. I guess we're gonna end the episode here anyway. So, like always, like, so emotional, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!